Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University. Just a real quick little hit on doing splitting. Now, once you've taken a sample, you have to crush it, split it down, and send off a split to the assay lab if you want a good result to be representative. So the first thing I do, once I got everything crushed, is I will sit here and lay them out in the order the, the actual geometric order that they were. For example, these are vein, vein plus foot wall, this is foot wall. And this would be the south end of the south winds, north end of south winds, south end of north stope, north end of north stope. Makes it real easy to keep track of things. Now, I got them all crushed, and now I'm going to split it down. And here's my splitting area here. Let me show you how easy this is. Here's the sample. This is the pre-marked sample bag. Matches the bucket. Oh, pretty. We have the splitter over here with two empty buckets. The splitter has alternating openings, an equal number to each bucket. So as you do that, it splits the sample evenly. And there you go. This bucket goes back in it. This now becomes our central splitting bucket. It's already marked with the original sample. Ugh. Dump that in, set this at an angle. Then you just move this over, do it again. And one last time. Set that for your next sample. Get the bag out of the bucket. It's there to do nothing but hold bags. Put it in the uh, sample bag. And you're done. And I've now representatively turned about a 35 pound sample into about a one or two pound sample in a representative manner just that fast. That's the advantage of the sample splitter. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.